Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a PayPal invoice. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. So in my previous tutorial, I showed you how to create a PayPal buy now button and how to add that to your website using Elementor for WordPress. So in today's tutorial, I want to show you how to create an invoice and send that to a customer. So you can go ahead and click on this quick link here invoices but if you don't see that there because you haven't accessed that previously you can go ahead and click on pay it and get paid and then click on create invoice here so when you click that it will show you the invoice interface for creating invoices in paypal so typically i use this if my customers are based overseas and they want to make payments via paypal normally i use a bank transfer but you can also create invoices quite easily in here um, using paypal so you can create batch invoices you can create lots of them in one go or you can just go ahead and click the create invoice button here so let's go ahead and click that button and it will give us another interface asking us for specific information okay so on this interface there's quite a few different things you need to fill in but let's start off with the basic stuff. So on this side here, it will have your company name, you have your email address underneath, but you can click on this little icon here and upload your logo. So you should just create a little logo and upload it into this place here. If you click on the drop down, there's an option to edit business details. And when you click on that, you can display your name, you can display your business name, your address, your phone number, your email address, your website, your VAT number, and also your, any additional information you'd like to put on the invoice. So fill out and select the relevant options in here of what you want to or not want to display on your invoice and then click the save button. So once you've done that, we need to decide how we're going to get this invoice to the client or to your customer. So you need to put in a, an email address here basically, right? So it would make sense you put an email address. So whenever you're sending invoices via PayPal, you really want to put an email address and it will send the invoice directly to that customer. I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my pshaw at dcpweb.co.uk. We'll send a fictional invoice to that particular email address. Okay, so underneath the email address, there's an option to select items to be shipped to and add an address. So if you're selling things like books or cakes or some sort of physical product and you need to ship it to the customer, you can click on this option and then fill out all the relevant information to add the billing details and the delivery details here. You can see this billing address and then there's a delivery address. So this doesn't really apply to me because I sell digital services. So normally I untick this option because it's not relevant to me as I sell website design, logos, business card design, stuff like this. So I'm not really shipping those things to the customer. They're all digital assets, right? Digital based. On this side here, there's an option to CC additional recipients. So if your customer says, send me the invoice, but also send it to my billing department, you can click on CC additional recipients and put additional email address in there. And then that will get CC to the customer uh, at their billing department, for example. Just to note, at the top of the invoice, there's an option to select a template. So you can see amounts only, hours. So you can bill for a certain amount of hours, amounts only, so specific amounts, or you can bill for quantity. So we're gonna to to select quantity for now. We can select amounts only, and it will reload the page, but then it's just got item and then the amount, right? So it's just quite a simple um, uh, option here, just a single item and then the amount that it's gonna cost. If we go to hours, then we can set certain specific number of hours so we worked for one hour at this particular rate uh, like 95 one hour and in the description and then we can add in just like a just like treatment deposit and then it says 95 right and we can say we did two hours of this work and there's 190 so there's different templates that you can select from here but the one that i normally use is quantity this is probably the most logical one and then you can select the currency from here as well so if you're PayPal knows that I'm based in the UK, so it's selecting Great British Pound as default, but if you want to select USD, sometimes my customers are overseas and they want me to build them in USD, so I'll select USD option here. But for now, I'm going to leave it as quantity and GDP uh, as default. When you switch between these templates, you have to put the email address back in, so that's a bit unfortunate, but that's just what you've got to do, so we put back in the email address here. So let's untick this ship too and then the CC we've already spoken about. Now we've got item name. You can click on a drop down and add an item like this. So you can click add new item and you can put in the description and all the information in like this. But and then you can save it as a as an item that you might use again later. So for example, I might do something like logo design. Um description is optional, but we can do like business logo design 
times three. So typically you do this if you're going to have products or services that you're selling on a frequent basis that you want to just be able to select from a drop down. So this is like a default uh, setting for it. Then you can put the price, let's put £125 and then there's 20% VAT and we click save item. <laughs> and then that item we can now select from the drop down and then it will fill in all the information for us or we can manually edit, add information. So this is the first row, this is the first item. Uh, you can change the quantity and so forth, right? But now we can select that option from the drop down. Now, if we don't want to add it as a specific product, let's say we're offering a bespoke service, then we can just type in the item name. So let's say, for example, we're offering, um, let's say, social media management, right? So social media management is quite a bespoke or custom service. So it wouldn't have a... Um, a definitive price it might be based on the amount of hours that you worked or the amount of artwork that you've created and so forth so we'll add in social media management and when we paste that in it's asking us for a price right and a quantity so quantity is one the price might be something like i don't know 245 pounds and then we can write a description in here twitter let's say twitter uh instagram and facebook artwork right something like this and that will be a custom uh, <clears throat> that will be a custom listing in here so now we've got two items in here totaling at 395 this one says no VAT but we want to set it to 20 uh, 20 percent right 20 percent VAT for UK so let's add one more example let's say for example we want to do uh, web development or logo design we've done logo so let's do web design right so for web design, um, let's say that we did web des website design, but we did two websites for the client, two different websites, and we charged, let's say, £895 per website. They were quite simple websites. There's 20% UK VAT. Then it's going to double that value. It's going to say to quantity 895 plus the VAT equals this value here. And then the description will be just say um, two times website development in wordpress for example right so that's it that's all the information filled in you can add um, a little note to the customer here so you might write something like we can actually click this i think we can click the x here to get rid of that one and you can add another item here or you can just click here to get rid of it right so you can add more items keep adding items and then you can remove them from here if you want to remove them so this will be a nice clean invoice and then the message to customer you could write something like uh, please make payment ASAP I need to get paid um, then you can add like terms and conditions and a reference number there's lots of other options in here these are just like the the main options then there's more options here like upload a, um, a file like a JPEG file or something else and you can write a little memo to yourself um, in here as well so down this side it's, give, it's giving us an invoice numbers. You can create your own custom invoice number here. The date of the invoice, so you can uh, post date it or um, date it into the future at some point. And then what is the payment? Can they pay? Um, they have to pay on receipt, no due, no due date, so they can pay whenever they want. On a specific date, they have to pay within 10 days, 15, 25, and so forth, right? Within a certain time period. So sometimes it's like invoice within 30 days, make payment. Uh, but we're going to say on receipt. So when they receive this invoice, they have to pay the full amount. Other discounts. So you can add discounts in here as well. Um, so let's just say, uh, let's add it. Let's add a discount. Let's let's give this person a discount. Let's give them 10% off, right? It can be percentage or a specific value. So let's say 10%. So then it's going to reduce this fee and show the discount in there. Um, and then other amounts. So you can add some other random amount if you want. Um, other amount let's say for I don't know uh, let's, 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 let's get them to give us a gift right a gift of uh, I don't know what should we do 20 let's see what happens I've never really used that before but you can here's a gift give me 20 pound gift there you go I'll give you 10% off and you give me 20 pound back doesn't make sense but I'm just showing you the features um, allow partial payments so you can say I want at least 50% of this now and then you can pay the rest of it later for example but I hardly ever use that feature um, well I've never used it and then allow a tip so can this person give you a tip an extra bonus right 
So maybe you clean their car, you or you clean their house, you give them an invoice, and you tick this option, and they can give you an extra extra tip if they uh, see that fit. So let's click preview here, and preview should allow us to see what that invoice looks like. So now you can see the invoice, the invoice date, the issue date, the due date, the amount. Here's an option for a tip. Uh, here's all the relevant information. And once you're happy with everything. Could have put a better logo there to be to be fair it's quite low res but it doesn't really matter too much we go ahead and click the send button and now this invoice is a fictitious one so it's actually going to send it to me but you can also click like um I'll, sh I'll show you how to actually create a link in a moment so let's click send and it's going to send that invoice to me we'll check my inbox to see that invoice in my inbox okay let's go ahead and open up my email account and here in Thunderbird, you can see the email. So I've downloaded the email, and here you can see the invoice that's been sent to me for £2,352.80. Due on receipt, and when we click View and Pay, um, it will log us into PayPal. And we can see the invoice here. So we can see the invoice, you can see there's an option to give a tip. You can download the PDF. If we click Download PDF, this is me as the customer, remember, yeah? Uh, download PDF. I can click download here and just save that to my computer let's just save it on my desktop and i might want to just forward that to someone else but when i open it it will say uh, amount due right so it's not been paid yet this invoice has still hasn't been paid it's outstanding so there you can see that what the customer will see they'll receive that as an invoice but we also want to sometimes uh, let's just close this window that's what the customer is going to see right but sometimes we want to send um uh, the invoice as a link as well just a straight link to the to the to the client so i'm going to show you how to do that next okay so we're on the interface where we created the invoice and this is the last screen that we see where it shows us the sent day and the customer's details the invoice number here and the amount that is due if you don't see this or if you logged out your paypal you need to log back in you can always go back to get paid and click create invoice create and manage invoices here when you do that any invoices that you sent to customers will show it here at the bottom and it will tell you which ones have been paid and which ones haven't been paid and once they've been paid what you want to do is click here and then set it to there'll be an option to archive it right or you can cancel it you can share a link you can print it you can record the payment copy it edit it remind so you can send them a reminder again you can download a pdf version if you want that for your own reference so you can print it out yourself and put it in your own records but i want to click share link here click share link and then it will create this custom link for me. I'm going to copy this link. And then let's just go back to my email account. Let's just go back to email again. And if I were to compose an email, let's just compose one. So I'm going to write one. Um, I'm going to send it to myself, right? So let's just send it back to myself. And I'm going to say uh, something like payment invoice. And then in that email, I can just write hi please pay using this link right so if your customer ever messages you back and says well i never received this invoice from paypal how can i pay it if i never received it you can just create a link and send it to them so let's just send that that's really sending it back to myself so i'm going to receive that in my own um, account here so if i type in invoice we can see that one here invoice i've just sent it back to myself as, a, as an example so if i click this link now it will take me back to um paypal and it will show me that same invoice right exactly like the paypal one did so it's a similar process in this case paypal sent the invoice to the customer but if the customer says i never received it you can log into paypal create the link and email them a link directly that they can click on and that will open up uh, paypal where they can make their payment right so it doesn't actually open up paypal a good example of this um let me just show you let's just actually close this for a second the only other one thing that i want to show you in here before i log out of paypal is just go to, to click here and if any reason that you know the customer says well uh i don't know you want to cancel the job or whatever it might be you can click cancel here all right you can click cancel you can print the invoice as well by the way you can print it you can send reminders and stuff so i'm going to click um in fact i won't click cancel i'm just going to log out of paypal and I want to show you what the customer really sees because we're logged into PayPal. So it's not really a true representation. So let's close this. Let's close this window. We don't need this. And uh, we'll go to um, back to here. We can go to PayPal invoice. Doesn't really matter which one, the link or PayPal. Click view invoice. And this is actually what the customer will see. 
So I'm not really logged into PayPal now. So we see a true representation of what that invoice looks like. So it doesn't say PayPal at the top and stuff like that. Although it does say pay now. And um, this will now ask me to log into PayPal to make payments. So I could put a tip in here of like 120 pound or whatever it is. And then you can see the value increases, right? Like this. Or you can add a tip of 120%, which would be too much, right? Like 5% tip or something, right? Tip amount like this. So this is you as the, or this is the, the person paying the invoice, putting a tip here. Uh, for you or they may choose not to put a tip at all or they can put a fixed amount like £10 Let's just change that to £5 or £10. Let's leave it at £10 and click pay And then it will ask you to log into your PayPal account and then the customer can make the payment So this is the customer making the payment now Right, so really I'm going to log into the PayPal account and delete this invoice. It was only used for fictional purposes But it gives you a full life cycle of what's going on when you create a PayPal invoice and send it and if they don't receive it you can send them a direct link and so forth so that is pretty much how you go about creating um, a PayPal invoice this is the PDF that we downloaded we don't need that anymore in fact I'll just dump it in this folder for for future purposes so that's how you create a PayPal invoice and send it to your customer and also create a link a PayPal link and if you think about it that link you could have sent it in WhatsApp you could have sent it as a direct message via social media uh, you could have sent it in a Skype message you can send it in an email so the direct link is not only for emailing you can send it via other methods wherever you can message you can even send it as a text message that direct link as well right so that's the purpose of the direct link is just another way to get the the payment from your customer okay that's the end of this tutorial showing you how to create a PayPal invoice I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.